I'm John Buchanan, and in this video, we're going to look at some useful navigational key commands, which are going to help you fly around your logic projects a little bit more quickly. Within the control bar at the very top of the arrangement, we've obviously got our transport controls for stop and play. And of course, whilst they're useful, they're not really buttons we end up clicking very often because, of course, there are key commands that allow us to do those a little bit more quickly. We've got this enter button in the bottom right hand corner, which is play. We've got zero for stop, and we've got our asterisk key for record. And there are lots of other key commands which are really useful for just helping us get from one place to another. And also for just playing around with our arrangement a little bit and trying things out. So let's start with some really basic ones. If I want to mute a particular track, and the tracks are obviously this list of instruments down on the left-hand side, I can just press M. And what that will do is to mute everything that's on that track because the whole track is muted. Let's suppose I want to be a little bit more nuanced than that though. What I want to do is to keep this track running, but I want to mute this region here. Well, that's Control M. And what that will do is not mute the whole track, it will just mute the highlighted region. And of course, if I wanted to, I could select a whole bunch of regions by lassoing them, by drawing drawing a box somewhere and drawing that around the regions that I wanted to mute, and I can control M and I can mute a number of regions at once. And solo works in a really similar way. Track solo is S, so now that first track that I muted a moment ago is now the only one that's going to play. And similarly, with those same regions highlighted, I can control S to solo those, which means that just those regions will play. And that's really useful if you want to focus on one particular sound and you don't want to go all the way back to the track to click on it and select it and have it play the whole way through. So region solo is really useful from that point of view. Similarly, we know that of course I can press the enter button to play and that will play from wherever the playhead is. But if I want to, I can select a particular region, I can hold down shift and the space bar and the playback will start from the beginning of the selected region. So if I'm moving around the arrangement, I can click somewhere else, shift, spacebar. Okay, what if I want to make a selection in order to then loop around a particular area of my project? Well, again, what I can do, of course, is I can click in this area here and drag a loop around the area that I want to work on. But similarly, what I can do is to click on a region and press Command and U, and what that will do is to create a cycle region around the currently selected region. And that's really useful. If I suddenly think, right, I want to work on the end and I want to loop around this section, I don't want to come up to the top and draw that manually, Command, U, and I'm just there. I've got a loop that's running around that particular um, section, which I think is a really useful one. Of course, we also know that there are lots of tools within Logic which allow us to do various things, chop things up or merge things back together, and they're accessed via the T button. This brings up the toolbox of all of the tools that exist within Logic, which allow me to do all of the things that I might want to do, including renaming things or erasing them um, and that kind of thing. If I press A, I automatically launch the automation options within Logic. Just one click of that button and instantly I can see all automation on every single track, or I can go through the process of drawing in new automation lines if I want to. And when I'm done with automation, I can press A again and effectively that window just shuts back down, allowing me to see um, the main arrange page. And in terms of actually focusing various um, ways of being able to look at data within Logic uh, carefully, again, if I use Command and I use the arrow tools, if I use those in a left to right motion, I can extend the view from a zoom point of view uh, horizontally. And similarly, the up and down buttons will allow me to do that vertically. So if I'm looking at a waveform and I want to see it in depth, then what I can do is to just use command and the arrows to stretch the view that I might want uh, to work with. And sometimes it's possible to end up in this situation where everything's got a little bit small. And what you'd really like is for the arrangement to fill the entire screen. Well, these buttons up here are very useful for that. What these will do is to stretch both the horizontal and vertical view to fit exactly the screen space that you you have available. So instantly, if I was to delete half the tracks within this project, then the vertical view would get bigger because it would be based on a smaller number of tracks and it will do that automatically for me if I use these screen stretch options, which are just effectively controlling the size um, for me directly. Alternatively, of course, I can get back there very quickly just using my zoom controls. One more for you. A really useful one, this. Let's suppose I take a little figure like this, an individual MIDI region like this, and what I want to do is to have that repeat. 
Command and R will automatically create repeats based on the length of the region that you're repeating. So I'm getting two bar cycles of that because the original region is two bars long. So what we've got a chance to do with this array of navigational tools is to not have to worry about going to menus or having to try and find out where particular functions are. If we can memorize these, then of course we can get around really quickly when we're just in the process of going with our creative workflow and wanting to work fast. So in this video, what we've done is to look at a range of key command tools which allow us to navigate our way through logic as we're building arrangements.